Well, good morning, and thank you all for joining us. Uh, today, I'm proud to announce the recipients of the third year of our Commercial Facade Grant Program. This program is making a difference. It's strengthening neighborhoods and encouraging job growth. This is a private-public partnership that works, and works well. Under the agreement of the Commercial Facade Program, small businesses that receive a grant contribute a matching investment of their own. I'm happy to tell you this morning that in almost every instance, business owners are investing more than required, in some cases as much as four times the amount. I think most anyone would find that a rate of favorable return. This year, I expect that trend to continue, and the program's $220,000 could very easily grow to a $1 million investment. It's also worth noting that these construction projects are going to create jobs. The facade grant program is kind of our own stimulus package. I'd like to refer to the uh, facade program as the economics of first impression. With upgrades to storefronts, our small business owners are sending an upbeat message to customers and a powerful sign to other businesses that things are looking great in the city of Fort Wayne. Check out our other investments on Wall Street, North and South Anthony Boulevards as well as here, and Broadway at Taylor. You'll see pride growing and businesses prospering. We're helping small business community succeed and they in turn are enhancing nearby neighborhoods. And this year, we're even seeing a secondary investment because of this program. The dramatic improvements made on the corner of Broadway and Taylor were instrumental in a new Subway restaurant opening up there. This is important and very popular and effective program that I started three years ago and I will continue to keep it going as long as money is available. This year's commercial facade grant and recipients are the Terrell Company, Broadway Unlimited, Come As You Are, Broadway Corridor, The Fillmore, Albright Meats and Deli, Southern Heights, Little Burma Asian Grocery, Hires Automotive, The Old House Galleries, International Expressions, Latin Air VC Floors, Flowers, excuse me, and King E. Rose on Goshen Road. Fort Wayne residents value the aesthetics of our community, and this is a way that the city of Fort Wayne can partner to improve our neighborhoods. At this time, I'd like to invite John Urbans to come to the microphone. Unfortunately, before I leave the mic, I do have to leave for another engagement on the other side of town, but John is well equipped to take it from here. John? Yes, ma'am. I want to thank Mayor Henry for his uh, support for this program. As he mentioned, started about three years ago. We've had three great years of projects, and, and this is going to be uh, an, another good year of projects. We're standing here at Mark City Market that uh, will be transformed into a, into a positive uh, attribute in the community. If you look at the history of this uh, program over the last few years, you've been able to see ch change over corridors. It's not just a, a building here and a building there. But if you see Wells Street and North and South Anthony and uh, Broadway, you see that there, uh, when we have programs like this, you can see change over time, and it's starting to really make an impact. Uh, I want to thank the staff, Julie Sanchez, who runs this program, uh, John Wallace, who uh, assists with the design review. We, we've got a great staff that's working on this. I want to turn it over to them to talk, uh, to talk about the program how it takes place. And then also we have uh, Councilman Hines here representing the 6th District where we're standing and a number of projects this year are down in this area. And then we have some of the business owners that are going to take part in the program and want to give them an opportunity to, to speak and talk about what they're doing with their building. So thank you very much. Hi, I'm Julie Sanchez. Um, it's just been an honor and a pleasure to work with this program, the Commercial Facade Grant Program. It is a matching grant program uh, for up to $20,000 for commercial businesses uh, that are located in economic development targeted areas. I do believe it's just a premier program. There are many municipalities that do have facade grant programs for businesses, but a lot of times they're $10,000 or they're less. Some are even as low as $2,000. But our grant program it goes up to $20,000, and in some cases, $40,000 of matching 
investment. And what you see is that uh, you begin to see commercial uh, businesses and commercial structures really uh, be able to be impacted as far as aesthetically. So our program makes a difference. Um, our mayor has committed the dollars to make it significant. And now in the third year, you can actually see curb appeal, you know, in our corridors. As uh, John said, as you go down Wall Street, I just encourage everyone to take a gander, to go down these corridors and make uh, a decision for yourself how you feel, what it looks like, Wall Street discount grocery. As you go through Broadway, the Fillmore, Mad Anthony, Georgia's International Grocery, so North Anthony, Jameson's, all of these corridors you can actually see a difference and so we're just very pleased to work with that. Um, I would also like to uh, invite up uh, one of my coworkers, uh, John Wallace. Uh, he's over the design review team, and one reason why this program is so significant is because we have staff that actually look, oversee every design, and everything, you know, the projects look beautiful because we have staff that are dedicated to helping the owner and also benefiting the city and the citizens. So I would like him to speak just a little bit about that process. Thanks, Julie. Uh, with every applicant in this program, uh, we have set up a uh, design guideline uh, booklet that uh, governs how these facade uh, projects can take place. And we wanted to design something that uh, wasn't too intrusive into what the uh, business owners wanted to do, but we wanted to design something that was at least basic, that respected the integrity of the building's original design, or if it had some uh, historic character, uh, that we not lose that in the process. Uh, but we also tried to build in a lot of uh, options for the business owners uh, to do the kinds of things they needed to portray their corporate image or how they felt the, the building needed to function uh, uh, for their purposes. So when we uh, went through this process, uh, generally we come in and we invite the applicant in, we review what uh, they have going. Many times uh, one meeting and, and we're done and they're on their way and they're building the project. Sometimes we have an opportunity to uh, see some options to go in some different directions. And again, some of this uh, might be uh, mandatory uh, per the standards, but other times we, uh, with a very talented design team, are able to make uh, optional uh, suggestions to the business owners and they're able to uh, pick and choose what they like that we have to offer from those uh, options and sometimes uh, uh, from their side and our side we think we end up with a better project uh, because of that. Uh, generally uh, we're, we're only adding about a, a month to the project times. Uh, we're able to do that very quickly and able to move them on to construction. So, it's time well spent and uh, I think it uh, has ended up in some pretty uh, uh, nice projects. Uh, one of the more recent ones was the, uh, uh, the nice attractive uh, graphics at George's International Grocery. That would be a very good example of that. So um, that's kind of the basics of what happens with design review and then we also follow up at the very end of the program and uh, make sure that the the job uh, scope was completed and uh, done according to the plans. Thank you. Councilman Hines, do you want to say a couple words? Yeah, real quick, I just want to talk about the three P's. Public, private, partnership. The mayor talked about the investment of the city, $220,000, public dollars. The private, he mentioned uh, Reverend Anthony uh, Payton and, and the dynamic job that he's done on the southeast side of Fort Wayne in his new project what he's about to launch here, private investment, and then the partnership. And that is how we can bring together uh, the government, public, uh, private businesses in order to enhance the assets of the entire city, and particularly in this case today uh, in the 6th District. And we want to thank all, uh, all of those individuals that are working hard on a daily basis within the city, uh, Pastor Payton and Mr. Rogers with the development company, in making the 6th uh, District a better place. And this pro program is proven that if you take the three Ps, public-private partnerships, put them together, you'll get this kind of results. Thank you.
Um, at this time, I'd like to invite any of the uh, recipients to come up and talk a little bit about your project or uh, what you have going on. I'm uh, Anthony Payton, pastor of Come As You Are Community Church, and uh, we are planning to take this particular property and, and turn it around. We've already started the process. We have a 20-year lease already signed and another 10-year lease, and, and that leaves us about two spaces out of this entire complex that is not leased out. Uh, we couldn't have done this without John Rogers and the Rogers family, and we're thankful for that, as uh, Glenn said, for the partnership and, and, and the city as well, for everybody that has contributed uh, to uh, make this happen. Thank you very much. Could, could you have done this facade makeover without the money that the city is going to help you with this grant? Uh, it would have been more difficult, very difficult to do without that. Well, we're just happy to be a part of what Anthony and uh, Sandy are doing out here. Uh, we've owned, we had owned the center for many years before that. Our involvement was in helping finance the package. Uh, we talked with Anthony for about a year, got a good comfort level with him and what their mission was and what they were trying to do. And uh, we continue to work with them and we look forward to being able to put together the package uh, to finish out the leasing of the shopping center because I think they're the right guys to do it and can do a good job. Hi, I'm Carrie Creech, and I'm with the, I represent the Terrell Company and the Fillmore on Broadway. We are um, pleased to have be second year recipients of the facade grant. Uh, many of you have noticed our fencing and our sign that we approved upon last year, and we just hope to continue with that this year. And we've also made the investment in the two buildings next to us so that we can improve those as well. And uh, just thank you for the money, and that we'll be able to do this. Thank you.